Good day and welcome. Today, we're continuing our discussion on levers focusing on second-class levers. We'll start by exploring the single second-class lever and understand why it always provides some mechanical advantage. From there, we'll move on to the intriguing concept of linked second-class levers, examining various real-world examples. First, we'll take a closer look at the office punch, a perfect example of a linked second-class lever that boasts a mechanical advantage greater than one. Next, we'll explore the heavy-duty stapler, another remarkable instance where the mechanical advantage exceeds one. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of how these tools work and the principles behind their efficiency. Don't forget to stick around until the end. We have some fun questions to test your skills before we reveal the answers. It's a great way to see how well you've grasped the material and boost your confidence for upcoming tests and exams. Today's lesson is part of our exciting series on levers. For more informative videos on levers, please check out the links in the description for more details. Remember to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on our weekly uploads. Alright, let's get started on this journey together and discover how second-class levers can make work easier. So, let's get started. In our last discussion, we saw that first-class levers have the fulcrum position between the effort and load. This allows them to change the direction of the applied force. When the effort presses down, the load moves upwards. Today, we are focusing on second-class levers. In a second-class lever, the load is positioned between the fulcrum and the effort. This arrangement can be represented as FLE or ELF, where F stands for fulcrum, L stands for load and E stands for effort. In a second-class lever, the input and output move in the same direction. When you lift the effort end of the lever, the load moves upwards as well. As we saw previously, mechanical advantage, MA, depends on the position of the load relative to the fulcrum and effort. The further the effort is applied from the fulcrum, the easier it is to move the load. Essentially, the longer the effort arm compared to the load arm, the easier it is to lift the load. For second-class levers, the load is always positioned between the fulcrum and the effort, which ensures they always provide a mechanical advantage greater than one. This is because the load is always nearer to the fulcrum than the effort, resulting in a longer effort arm compared to the load arm. This configuration allows you to lift heavier loads with less effort, making second-class levers very efficient in increasing force. There are two types of second-class levers, single second-class levers and linked second-class levers. Let's look at these in more detail. In a single second-class lever, a single rigid structure is used to move an object. It is identified by the effort being applied on one end, the fulcrum at the opposite end, and the load in the center. In a single second-class lever, such as a bottle opener, the load or output is between the pivot and the input. You can also say the load is in the middle of the fulcrum and the effort. The effort and the load move in the same direction. The effort is further from the fulcrum, and because of this, a single second-class lever always increases the effort force, so the mechanical advantage is always greater than one. The effort is further from the fulcrum than the load, and the effort will move more than the load. The wheelbarrow is another example of a single second-class lever. The wheelbarrow's wheel is the fulcrum, the lifting motion of the person's hands is the effort, and what is being carried in the wheelbarrow is the load. Again, with the wheelbarrow, the effort is much further from the fulcrum and the load is nearer to the fulcrum. This results in mechanical advantage being greater than one. In linked second-class levers two paired structures are used to move an object. It is identified by the effort being applied on one end. 
the fulcrum is at the opposite end and the load in the center. Examples of single second-class levers include on office punch, an egg slicer and wheelbarrow. Linked second-class levers are very strong. As we have already seen, mechanical advantage of second-class levers is greater than one. This advantage can be used for lifting, crushing or squeezing objects, as an egg slicer does. In an office punch, the point where the punch is fixed to the structure acts as the fulcrum. The distance between the effort, where you press down, and the fulcrum is greater than the distance between the load, the paper being punched, and the fulcrum. This gives greater mechanical advantage, allowing you to punch through multiple sheets of paper with less effort. Because the effort arm is longer than the load arm, the mechanical advantage is greater than one, meaning you can apply less force to achieve the desired outcome. A heavy-duty stapler is designed for durability and efficiency. In this tool, the load is closer to the fulcrum than the applied effort. The distance from the handle to the fulcrum reduces the force needed to staple documents, giving the stapler a mechanical advantage greater than one. Similar to the office punch, the heavy-duty stapler has the fulcrum positioned at one end, the effort applied at the other end, and the load, the paper being stapled, in between. This setup ensures a greater mechanical advantage, making it easier to staple thick stacks of paper with minimal effort. We have come to the end for today. But before we go, please attempt the following questions before the answers pop up. You can pause the video as you go. This is an important section that consolidates what you have learnt. In the next video, we will focus on the third class lever. We'll start by examining the single third class lever to understand why it never provides mechanical advantage. Then, we'll explore linked third class levers with real world examples, such as an office light duty stapler and tweezers. Don't miss this exciting deep dive into everyday tools. So, let us meet next time as we discuss this further. Be sure to check out the link for this in the description for more videos. Also, please do not forget to subscribe so that you do not miss our weekly uploads. Otherwise, thank you for watching and keep well.